Hello to everyone. This is Veronica Seban from Business Power Academy, bestseller author of many books as Business Power Academy, Master Your Life Story, and different uh, business and NLP coaching programs. Uh, today we have an interview with Daniel Gomez from Texas. He's a speaker and uh, motivator. Just let's introduce you, Daniel. Daniel, tell us please more about you. Who are you? What are you doing? <laughs> well, my name is Daniel Gomez and I love people. And my brand is Daniel Gomez Inspires. And I love inspiring, training and coaching people. And the beauty about it is, is when you really love people, you transform them, you see, because most people, they do a surface level coaching or training and and it just it's a surface level but what people don't realize is you got to go deeper into those traumas because many people veronica are in arrested development and they're not even aware of it yes. and when i go speak and i train and i coach i do it from my heart because i love people and the best compliment i get is when we're going through a coaching session with the client and they just look at me with the deer eyed look like ha <laughs> like where did that come from right they just because they never saw that within themselves. And when that true transformation happens, I love it. It's amazing. So I just, I just love people. I love helping people. Me too. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a human being for people. <laughs> <With> big, <laughs> I love that. Yes. With big hearts <laughs> and connection. So I truly love connection. I would like to tell more about myself. And then I have the next question uh, for you. Um, many years ago, I have been uh, active into network marketing and communication. So it's um, a worldwide American organization where I, where I have been uh, mentored and uh, I, I got a lot of preparations, uh, mindset, leadership, communication, marketing, ma management, promotions, and sales. <laughs> yes. So, so yeah, and uh, there, so I have acquired my knowledge and experience. So uh, in communication, networking, and public speaking. So it's amazing. And we um, must, we must, we were obligated <laughs> uh, to go on the podium and to speak in front of thousands of people. Even if I had fear, like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and I'm glad you said that because I, I know a lot of great friends that have been very successful in, in multi level marketing MLMs. I, it's not for me, but I will say that people don't realize that we in here in, in San Antonio, Texas, coming up March 5th and 6th, we're having the Sticker Shock Speaking Academy, where we actually teach people and coach them on how to have a successful speaking business. And what people don't realize is that speaking helps you in every aspect of communication. Yes. Just to say, just to say you're having you're, you're just to say this, just to say I invite Veronica to a lunch and all of a sudden Veronica, you know, that's tell us about yourself or you know what, give us a small, a small speech, Veronica. If you're not prepared, if you don't have that skill set, you're going to fumble and you're going to miss your opportunity. So, so when we train our speakers, we try to show them and, and reframe their mind that you don't have to be a motivational speaker and a rah-rah guy. It's not yes. about that. It's deeper. It's about delivering the content, your story and your heart, because everybody's a speaker. We just don't realize it because we don't see ourselves from that perspective. And uh, most of all, your belief in yourself, how committed are you with yourself? And that's what uh, a lot of people, they don't understand the commitment with themselves. Uh, yes, so just you have to believe in yourself, uh, in your way to be, first of all, because that's your power, your personality, it's your power just to yes. show up. Yeah, and, and the, I love what you said, personality, yeah. we all have a unique personality. Yes. And the one thing that I had to learn in my messaging is that my messaging for everybody. And yeah. so many times our personality is going to communicate to somebody else's personality. But this is what happens that I've learned is I, I meet many young speakers that get their feelings hurt. And I went through this through one time, right? You, you give an amazing speech and you think like, yeah, and how can I say it? It doesn't speak to the whole audience sometimes because it's meant for certain people 
Yeah. Or when you're messaging, it's like people follow you on Facebook or on social media. And after a while, they get they get your message. And it's like, okay, well, I got enough of Daniel Gomez inspires. I need to go learn from somebody else, which is okay. But you have to not take it personal. But I will say you have to speak to the personalities in the audience. And when you speak to the personalities, that's where the engagement and the transformation happens. Yes, and uh, another uh, very important aspect, what I noticed, I have had an interview with a coach um, and she, um, she said, okay, uh, I'm not prepared. Okay, and then when I heard uh, the words, I'm not prepared, I don't need to be prepared, for example. You, <laughs> <laughs> do you understand the difference? You said, let's do it now. I'm available now. So, and then I thought, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so <Yeah>. without preparation. <laughs> well, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, um, it's a silly question that I hear, right? I guess people do it just for engagement and I, and I respect that. I understand that. But to me, it's like people ask the question, well, what, what can you speak on for 30 minutes? It's like, you should have content within your heart, within your soul, who you are. Yeah. You should have five things that you can speak on. I, I, I just think like, but I remember when I first started, it seems daunting. So I can understand why they asked that question. But once you're growing and you're becoming that coach, you're becoming that trainer, you're becoming that author, you're becoming that speaker. And it's like, you should have five contents available for 30 minutes. I can talk about leadership. I can talk about finances. I can talk about money. I can talk about speaking. I can talk about mindset for sure for hours and then yeah. i can talk about uh sales right i can talk about sales for hours i, ha I have i have sales training conferences that we that we have a two-day conference for sales training because it's all about the mindset and how you approach and and how yeah. you sell and, and your and your your tonality and it's like and you gotta well have all these things that you speak about so i love what you said you have to be prepared many of us the opportunity passes us of success because we're not prepared for the moment veronica yeah, but uh, regarding the sales, <clears throat> a very important role um, has your personality as well, because a lot of people, they don't sell from you because of your product, but because of your human qualities and personality. And that's what a lot of people have to understand, to realize that that's the reason that someone uh, can create a trustable relationship with you because of your life story, because of your personality. Yes, yes, yes. No, thank you. It, it's, I tell you what, it's <laughs> people buy from they, who they like, trust, and feel comfortable with, right? If they like yes. you, if they trust you, if they feel comfortable with you. And, and many times you don't think, and I'm speaking for myself, you don't think that people are, are, are following your content or that you make a difference. And just... Just yesterday, I was on Clubhouse speaking, and it was amazing because this gentleman came up and he's, he follows me on LinkedIn. And he goes, Daniel, I just want to say that you helped me when I lost my wife. Mm -hmm. And I looked down and I was trying to see who he was. I had no idea who this gentleman named Bill was. I never talked to him. I never engaged with him. But something that I had posted on my content, he said it, it, it really helped me through my through the loss of my wife. And, and I say that because so many times we don't think we're making a difference and we're, we're actually making a global impact, especially with social media. And if you just stay true to your heart and keep be consistent in delivering your message, people are, are even without you talking to them, they're, they're starting to trust you because of the content that you're putting out there. And then when the time is right, they'll, they'll, they'll do business with you if that's meant to be. Yes, because uh, often, so it happened that you touch their heart um, with your message, and, and that's very, very impactful. And that's um, the, the mission that we have as speakers and coaches. I have a very interesting question um, to you. What was your biggest fear before you started as a speaker? My biggest fear, um, honestly, not knowing where to start. For me, it was not knowing where to start. Because when I ran multi-million dollar corporations, I still, I, even though I was the number one guy, the owner was above me, him and his son. But even though I ran this, this huge dealership, 
I still did the trainings every Monday. I still engaged with my employees. I had a hundred employees that I help oversee and it was amazing. But no matter what, every single Monday I was consistent. I wanted to do, to do the training because I enjoyed it. And of course, everybody else pitched in, but I never took the approach that, well, I'm, I'm the leader and, and I'm, that's below me. I'm not going to train. No, the, the leader has to train. So for, for many years, for many years, I was, God was preparing me for the time to be like when the stage opened up, I was ready. I was a little bit raw, but I was ready because I knew I could speak because people would tell me, you know, you, you, you hear those messages, Veronica, right? You're, man, Veronica, you're a great speaker. Man, Veronica, thank you for motivating us. And, and I had heard that for, for, for a decade, almost 10 years. Yeah, yeah. But I say that because I started believing in that. And when the moment came, I remembered, man, <laughs> it would motivate everybody in the meeting. So I was ready for that motivational part. So I'm glad you asked that because when, when, when God told me this, he's like, <laughs> I want you to be a motivational speaker. It spoke to me. It, it like it, it spoke to me because I had done it for so long in the organization and I would speak and I would motivate and people would feel my speeches. But I say this, that if God would have told me, I want you to go out and be a coach in the world, I wouldn't have done it. I don't think I would have been fearful there because I, I didn't understand coaching. And the ironic part is this. I had been mentoring my employees for over a decade already. I was, I was, I was coaching them. You're mentoring yes. them. You're coaching them, but, but I just you, didn't realize it because I was in the midst of the jungle instead of being out of the jungle, looking in, I was in the jungle with the lions and the tigers, but I was doing it already, but I just didn't see it. So when God said, I want you to be a motivational speaker, my spirit, my heart connected with that. And I had the confidence that I could do it. The, the thing that I feared is I didn't know how to do it. And that came easier than what I expected. I just kept moving forward and the opportunities that I needed to help me opened up. But in this case, let's uh, talk about position because that's very important just to, to give an example to our audience. Uh, when you are employable um, and even if you are coaching people around you, you um, have a certain stand, a position, yeah? And you are not aware um, of the impact that you are creating or that you could create. It's about position and your identity and self-image. How do you see yourself? And that's awareness. This is full awareness because I have experienced this too. And uh, when I, I, I think back, I, I think, oh my gosh, if I published all the picture on my Facebook page, but I didn't, so it's, I'm so sorry for that because I couldn't realize at that time how impactful and how important is that. And now I, I went to holiday to Italy about uh, four years ago. And my phone, where I had all the pictures, um, was fallen in the water. And I <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and I lost, I lost all all everything so all i had there uh, videos from the conferences but okay it's about the position and our identity our self image how do we see ourselves yes and and and, and I, i'm glad you said that because the way we identify with ourselves right the way we identify with ourselves is who we're going to become or who we are and the way we identify with ourselves, usually Veronica, we identify with ourselves the wrong way. We identify with ourselves from the past mistakes that we made, the past failures, the past regrets. That's how we identify with ourselves. And we've never been taught to identify with the vision of who we can become. Because yeah. it's all about being, doing, and having. You can be whoever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. And you can have whatever you want to have. But you have to identify with yourself on that frequency to know that you can accomplish that. And self-identification is everything. Yes. Uh, what I have been thinking is to invite one of two of my mentors. <laughs> I think it will be very, very impactful. And just to, to show to the people how I started as a single mom, as a woman. And so through my, my personal development and, and uh, transformation and career, I have experienced a heart attack as well. Yeah. But I want to applaud you because I, I, want, I want you to hear what you just said. 
And ladies and gentlemen, I want you to hear this. How many times, and somebody's going to be watching this show, and you've been making excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse, and you know, nothing upsets me more than people that make excuses. And I say that, Veronica, because when I started my business, when I started my business over three years ago, my wife had just had a double mastectomy breast cancer, and there was no guarantee that she was going to live. Yeah. That's the season I started my, my, my show, my yeah. business, everything. But I say that because you said, you said two things that are profound, that I hear a lot of women make excuses, and I'm not disregarding what they've gone through, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there are excuses. You said you were a single mom. Yeah. A woman. Yes. And, 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 and not that being a woman's bad, but the, the third thing you said is this. I, I'm listening to you right now. You had to learn English and you have to have the confidence in yourself to come up here and interview somebody from the States because yes. your English is, isn't as clear. And, but I give, you the, I give you a big applaud. I admire you for embracing that. And the more you do it and do it, man, you're going to be amazing. And I just see your show growing. So yeah. this is for all the men and women out there that look at her. You might be a single mom. You might be a single dad. You might have broken English. You can, maybe you can't speak Spanish. My, my Spanish stinks, but I still make an attempt. <laughs> no, but I don't care about my broken English because uh, through the pro process, I'm learning from because I'm listening so to the people. And English, English is my fourth of uh five language so yeah, I mean, that, that, that's what i'm saying you don't care right that's what i'm no. saying you're doing you're doing it that's yes, what i'm, I'm doing that, that, that's, the, that's the message i'm trying to show those ladies and men do yes. it start with where you're at listen to what veronica just said it's it's a great thing she's she's learning and growing and so many of us we're we're, we're so insecure and we're embarrassed of of how when i speak in spanish i i stink like i said but i i still try <laughs> because Maybe I say one word or one message that is going to impact somebody in Mexico or in Spain or that speaks Spanish. And it's like, I still do it even though I suck, <laughs> but I'm getting better in speaking Spanish. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no, because I know a lot of people, so they are hearing my accent that I'm not a native English speaker, but it doesn't matter. So I am doing my best. Just, I have my experience. I have my ground background and I have my personality, I, I have myself, and that's the most important. <laughs> yes, no, I'm enjoying this. Thank you so much for inviting me on your show. I'm enjoying our conversation, so thank you. Yes, you are welcome. And uh, the next question, um, uh, what did you learn from, um, from, from your fear? Because, you know, everyone has fear, everyone, or like frustration, um, different I, I, kind of emotions that, that so, sometimes so we are insecure to, to show them. Yes. I, what I learned from, from the fear is, is fear is going to be there in your journey because there's always another level. There's always a newer version of you coming off. And I'll say this, right? Like when I started my show, the Daniel Gomez Inspire show, and God put it on my heart to start it during COVID, in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, I was very successful already in the speaking world. I was already great in coaching and, and trainings. I had done hundreds of trainings already. But that, that, that in back of the mind, even though I had the brand already, Daniel Gomez Inspires, I said, well, who's going to listen to the Daniel Gomez Inspire show, right? Like who's going to, because I had heard other people that, all they do is they counter downloads or they say, man, no, you hear that in the industry. And I say that because I said, well, what if no one listens? Mm -hmm. But, but I had been practicing behind the scenes for, 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 for many, for many months. And when God said, do it, start it. And I really started praying about what I was going to do, what the show was going to be called and everything else. It's like, well, let's just do it. But I did, but I acted in spite of the fear. And when you take the smallest steps forward, in spite of what you fear, next thing you know, those winds dominate and drown out the fear to where there's no fear anymore because now you can do it. And I think that's true for every new in just every new embarkment that we take, right? Every new experience that we go out there to, to create for ourselves, whether it's writing the book, whether it's starting a show, whether it's coming live on Facebook and doing Facebook lives. There's always that fear, but once you do it and those small actions become great wins, those wins drown out those fears. And then it's like, okay, this isn't challenge me anymore. Now I got to go start something new. What's my new adventure now that I need to do for my business. And many people 
Like for right now, we're building an amazing webinar and it's taken some time, but I want it to be right. I've never done a webinar. I've been, I just kind of layered of them because I didn't know how. And now I'm getting my wording right and, and just the messaging right behind the webinar. But I'm excited because even though it's been frustrating these last two months, I stopped saying it's frustrating. I say it's fascinating because I'm fascinated because I'm learning new things. And, and when you do that mindset, right, when you shift that little mindset, stop saying I'm frustrated. Say I'm fascinated. I'm yes. fascinated by the adventure. And when you stop saying the word frustration and say fascination, it's, it's just amazing how you embrace it more. Yes, but I think that we, we, all, we have to switch uh, from fear to, uh, to admiration, just to learn how to admire ourselves. And I think that's a um, very, very powerful tool just to, to be aware of that. Because <clears throat> instead to focus on the fear, we have to focus on, on our qualities and our message that we have to share and to create impact on another people. And I want to share with you and with all the people uh, my story that, uh, in my opinion, it's very impressive. Why? After my heart attack, after many years, um, I still had the fear just to, to don't um, experience the failure again, I mean, of the heart attack, because I'm a very sensitive person, yeah? And I have been a, a dreamed God, like it was a very bright and lightened light on the sky. And I heard a voice and he said to me, just be glad that you are alive. Uh, you have uh, another chance just to, uh, to, to, to be there and everything will be okay. Only this, these words. And then I waked up very scared, like, wow. And then I asked myself, like, what was that? <laughs> so, and yeah, but this is so, it, it, it touched <laughs> everything. My soul, my heart, it's like, oh my gosh. So uh, how, how powerful can be a message is there about? Yeah. And then I realized the fact that I truly, um, got a second chance just to rebuild my life, to, yeah. to believe much deeper in myself, in my power and in my personality, because it's there about. I have the next question to you. Um, what was your biggest failure? My biggest failure? Yes. You know, I, I don't... And what have you learned from there? It could be as well a swallow I, frustration. I, I, uh, uh, I, th I, th I think now I don't really see things as failures. I see things as, as growing opportunities. I don't really see them as failures. I really don't. But I think when I was younger, the, the thing that I've learned the lesson, I'll say that I, the, what I've learned the most out of us was when I was a young leader and I... Um, entitlement got to me and just because i had the title it got to my head so it wasn't a failure it was a learning experience but i embraced that and it, it's really helped me as i've grown in business and just with my influence not to allow that same ego that pride to rise up and it, it's easy because when you you know we just won podcast of the year and it was amazing for 2020 i was excited but it's like you, you learn not to brag about it you learn to celebrate it, but there's a difference between celebrating and bragging. And I think when I was younger, I would, I would brag. And, and when you brag, you, you, you don't even realize it, but you tend to put people down or judge them yep. because maybe they're not at your level to, from your perspective. And now when you celebrate, you celebrate the victory, but then you also celebrate other people and how can you raise, raise them to your level so I would say that I don't really see them as failures. I really don't. I, and I mean that from my heart. It's just what did I learn from what I went through? And I would just say the biggest lesson is lesson. just learning, learning that, in, that entitlement ain't going to get you anywhere. Okay. And uh, what is your biggest achievement during the oh, year? Oh, <laughs> my biggest achievement is just my relationship with my family. Oh, that's right? so first, cool. first, my relationship with God. And when, you, when you're connected to the father, my dad, 
then you have the power, the spirit, the peace mm -hmm. to connect this way. And the connections are always, my, I, I truly believe is my, 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 the way we live our life is God first, my wife, then my children, and then work. And many people put their work, their business before God, and that's why they fail. And you're going to see here coming up this next year, a lot of things are going to change. And if your faith isn't in God and you don't have God first, you're, I'm just being honest, you're not going to make it to some of these seasons. You're not, and people may, will even go out of business. Yes. Uh, it's uh, about the, the connection with, with God and the belief in God and the power of God. And I profoundly believe in the power of God. I always believed in God because I am um, educated uh, uh, in in that way, and I grew up in a such uh, culture to believe in God. So I'm um, uh, Christian Orthodox, and from a, a very uh, young age, so we went always to the church with with my mom, with my grandparents. And so we have the culture in the family to just the belief in God. And uh, if, and what I have a very important thing in my life is um, uh, value that I want to connect with, with, with people who truly believe in the power of God, you know? So and that's very important to me um, as a, human being and as a woman yes well thank you thank you for reaching out like i said it's, it's been a joy being here so i can I, I love i just see your joy in your face and it's it's beautiful yeah thank you thank you so much um what uh could you give away as a homework <laughs> for, for yeah well definitely i have I, yes well i have a gift for your audience if they text if they text the word confident, C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-T, they'll get my seven days to fly uh, daily program for free. That's text the word confident to C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-T. Text the word confident to 26786 and they'll get my free training seven days to fly daily. And that's my gift for me to your audience to help them with that. And then also, if they go, I want to give them a copy of my book. Also, if they go to danielgomezinspires.com, that's danielgomezinspires.com. They get a free copy of my uh, ebook, You Were Born to Fly. And I would definitely love to give them that. That's my gift from, from me to them. Oh, thank you so much. That's amazing. Um, I have an announcement on 30 January. Uh, I have a webinar. Uh, for people who want to turn their fear, frustration, and pain into power, and to, uh, who, for people who want to share their life story with another people to create more impact, and who wants to create their first coaching program. And so related to this webinar, I'm inviting as well uh, speakers, coaches, as guests. So if you um, are available, then you are welcome as a guest. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm honored. I would love to be that. And yes, and, and, and I want to say this to your audience. You know, I, I, I admire Veronica's just tenacity and, and resilience. And she's had a heart attack. She's been a single mom and she's learning five languages. Listen to what she's saying. What's your excuse for not taking action? What's your excuse? I want you to know that you are worthy and deserving of success. Yes, you watching this webinar right now, you watching this episode right now, you are worthy of success. And just realize when you start really healing yourself and healing your traumas, there's nothing you can do. I want to offer this for, if, if you reach out to me here on Facebook, send me a message, a DM, or email me at daniel at danielgomezspeaker.com. That's daniel at danielgomezspeaker.com. I want to give you a complimentary 30 minute session of just to discover what might be blocking you. And I would love to help you with that as my service for me to your audience, Veronica. So it's been an amazing time. Thank you so much. And whatever you want me to so assist you with, I, I would be honored to. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for your availability. And I think that we can help uh, 
um, know their people and to create massive impact and to transform their life, uh, especially in this pandemic time, because there is a lot of uh, conflicts around the world, uh, confusion and uh, people, uh, they, they lose their jobs. So, and I think that we have to create opportunities and to, to offer the possibility to another people just to transform their life. Yes. This is my giveaway for, for our audience. And I invite you to like uh, this video, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Power of Your Mind and Inner. And if you have uh, the link of your website and if you have a book, Daniel, just share that with me and I'm uh, going to share with, with the people. Yes, I definitely will. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much for viewing this amazing episode. This is our great Great, great host, um, Veronica Saban, and she's amazing. And we can learn a lot from her just on embracing her challenges and embracing who she is. So thank you for having me, Veronica. It's been a blessing. Yeah, for me too. Thank you that you you came to, to this interview and that uh, you inspire a lot of people around the world. So uh, God bless you and your family, and we keep in touch very soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.